Hi, thanks for getting curious with What If Curiosity. Uh, we're going to do another reading from the book of What If. Uh, this comes from the What If History section. And it's all about the Mongol Empire and, and the person who really, really drove it. But it's also connected to stuff in the more recent history um, that may kind of blow your mind. So what if the Mongol Empire helped the United States westward expansion? All right, so how did this empire from all the way on the other side of the world, hundreds of years before the United States was even going, how did it do something that helped the United States during its Western expansion? Stretching from the Pacific Ocean to the Danube River, the Mongol Empire still holds the place as the largest contiguous empire of all time. Imagine that, it still holds the world record. The Mongol Empire was so massive that during its reign from 1270 to 1309, again, if you've got kids looking to do math out there, have them do the math on how many years ago was that. So anyway, the Mongol Empire was so massive that during its reign, it contained over 25% of the world's population and 16% of the planet's land mass. Wow. With reach that large, Mongols had a huge influence on the world then and on into today. For example, in an empire as vast as this one, quick communication was critical to keep things going and keeping them from falling apart. To make sure everyone was always in the loop, Mongols developed a messenger system called the YAM. The YAM was a system of postal relay stations at which riders carrying messages on horseback could rest, refuel, or exchange their tired horse for a fresh one. Sound familiar? A few hundred years later, the United States would replicate the same system as the Pony Express to facilitate its communication during westward expansion. Pretty crazy, right? So as mentioned too, it wasn't just an empire, but there was an individual who was really responsible for so much of, I guess, success depending on which side of the, the sword or arrow in this quick case that you were on, but actually the, the overall size of the empire. Genghis Khan, conquerors of conquerors. As ginormous as the Mongol empire was, it can be traced back to the vision and ambition of a single person, Genghis Khan. In the wake of his time on earth, history remembers Genghis Khan as both a great destroyer and great creator. Historians calculate Genghis Khan was directly responsible for the deaths of nearly 40 million people. Census data from the Middle Ages during Genghis Khan's reign show China's total population dropping by tens of millions. Genghis Khan's attacks were so devastating, historians estimate his war with the Khwarezmian Empire, located in what is now Iran, killed three-fourths of that entire population. In all, it's believed that great Genghis Khan lowered the population of the entire world while he was living in it by 11%. However, it turns out Genghis Khan was a lover as well as a fighter. Geneticists believe that approximately 16 million people on the planet today are direct descendants of Genghis Khan. That means 16 million people today could call Genghis Khan a relative. Crazy, right? So this is an activity that's not in the book, but one that's fun, I think, for kids to do today. Um, think about the, the empire, but let's get away from all the killing and all of that stuff for a second and go back to that yam system, right? Or the Pony Express, where they used horses to communicate across long distances. So what if you woke up and there was no internet? There was no telephone. There was no, uh, there's no electricity, but you needed to get a message to someone on the other side of the country where you live. How could you do it? So what if you had to come up with a new system of communicating long distances using animals? What animal would you use and give a short description of how this would work or function if there was no electricity, no internet, but still a huge need to communicate with people all over the world. Be really curious to see what you come up with, whether you draw a picture or write a description or both. 
Um, hopefully this can lead to deeper learning, not just about Genghis Khan, the po Pony Express, but communication and technology today. As always, thanks for uh, getting curious with us. Excited to read more from the book of What If with you and uh, stay curious.